Hi, welcome to the first video of a series that we're doing on speed painting comics. Uh, my name is James from sillyfingers.com. We're a website where we post regular comics on everything and nothing. Um, and hopefully, you know, you have a have a good time, you have a good laugh, and uh, the videos are really just to to show the process and kind of narrate a little bit um, the thoughts behind behind the work. Um, so in terms of the technique, you know, we, are, we, we I, I basically just use watercolor. I, I pre-sketch the line work, trace it onto watercolor paper. Um, here you see I'm just blocking out the, the darker colors, the earthier tones, giving it a bit of spatial, um, bit of a spatial dimension. That's the beauty of watercolor. When it dries, it really creates this fantastic texture. It creates, naturally creates depth, um, does the work for you with, um, with different shades. Um, here you will see the masking fluid, uh, which I often use um, to mask out the writing milk chocolate or the Ben Jerry logo, and dries really quickly. You can paint into the spaces where it's not masked. Um, and the comic itself is uh, here is just four frames. Um, the idea being that <laughs> that dessert recipes shouldn't mix. Um, although of course that, that's something that's being done a lot, and the inspiration kind of came from the confectionery world. I I was noticing some very strange ideas, you know, like uh, in, in the ch in the chocolate world in particular, you know, chocolate uh, adapting uh, savory ingredients like you know Ritz biscuits, pretzels, and chocolate, or or I, I've even seen um, you know chocolate being made with with the kimchi fermentation process so you have these like little kimchi jars with uh with this like fermented chocolate um tastes pretty good actually but um it kind of uh kind of shows how conservative we are in terms of recipes you know like we have this very fixed uh understanding of what a chocolate should be of what a cookie should be um and when when we're exposed to ideas which kind of max mix and match these things up, you know, often even my personal initial reaction is, whoa, you know, what's that? That, that can't taste good. That, you know, that that's not what it's in quotes supposed to be. So um, so I make a comic about it about uh, two dessert lovers who um, who find uh, each other, and um, they they meet this Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Um, I think Ben Jerry's epitomizes this this trend pretty well. I mean, obviously they're a mainstream uh, company, but each of their flavors is actually not just a flavor. Each of their flavors is a whole rainbow of different clashing um, ingredients, and together they sometimes are, you know, for me personally not that appealing, but sometimes actually pretty interesting. So it's all about opening your mind to new ideas, um, you know, leaving old preconceptions behind. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you soon.